Good morning, students. I hope your day is off to a great start. I've got a passage today out of 1 John chapter 4, verses 13 through 21, and I can't think of a better day to talk about this passage than today. Uh, at least the day that I'm recording this is Good Friday, and the passage is all about how God is love. And again, there's no better way to demonstrate that than what today is all about. So... I'm going to read you something I wrote based on this passage, and it says this, God is love. This is who he is, and not just what he does or gives. Each of the three persons of the Godhead is love, and he has given us his spirit. We have love living inside us when we accept Jesus as our Savior, and this love is what changes us from the inside out. We live in love. This is the evidence that we live in God and that God lives in us. This sets us, a, sets us apart from the world. <clears throat> Think about human nature. We're selfish. We want our way. We fear others' success will minimize our own. We fear someone else will get what we want. But there's no fear in love. Love is about who you are and not what you do. There is no fear in love because nothing can stop perfect love. And it says in Romans chapter 8, verse 38, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. <clears throat> So you see, because of this love that we now have in us, we love. And we love God and we love people. We love because he first loved us. It is unconditional. We didn't earn it and we certainly don't deserve it, but he loves us because it is who he is. This presents us with a choice. What are we going to do with this love? When we choose to abide in that love and dwell in God, he abides in us and love is completed and perfected in us. I just, I love that passage um, <clears throat> talking about how God is love. And we think about love in so many different ways in our world. Um, and it's, it's very conditional um, in how we can demonstrate love, but when we think about God's love for us and how unconditionally that is, because there was nothing we did to deserve it or earn it, but he chooses to give it because it's who he is. And the Bible says in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his son. And that's why this passage is so great to talk about on Good Friday, when we think about what love looked like in its most ultimate form. When Jesus laid down his life on the cross, it's just, it's beyond words. <clears throat> and so our challenge today is to go from here and be love. We've got love living inside of us. We want to go demonstrate that to a world that desperately needs it, even if they don't know it. So I'm going to wrap up in prayer and then we're going to go about our day and we're going to love like Jesus loved. So Lord Jesus, thank you for sending your son to die on the cross. Thank you for coming and dying on the cross for our sins, even though we didn't deserve it. God, thank you for the love that you showed us because you are love. And so Lord, as we sit in that and as we dwell in that and as we accept that in our life, Lord, would you change us from the inside out? Would you give us your love that we can go about and demonstrate to a world that desperately needs it? Lord, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for the love that you give. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have a great day.